one if we finish in positive territory. And by the end of the day, we might have the value of all stocks even higher than $45 wow, trillion. Yeah. Dollars. All right, the bell is a ringing. We're off, we're running, and I'm seeing some green. The Dow is up 115 points right from the get-go. And that board, left-hand side of the screen, that's all the 30 stocks in the Dow Industrials. And as you can see, a large uh, majority of them are in the green. So we're off, we're running, and to the upside. The S&P 500, how many records was it? 31? 32. Yeah, that's number 33 right there. If we close at the in positive territory. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> You've got to correct me on that one. Okay, we're up a fraction there for the S&P, new high. Look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is an all-time high, 14,502, right there. Records all across the board. The Dow is up 143. Look at the banks. Now, they've yeah. just been allowed to buy back their own stock and issue big kind dividends, all of them up again. They were up yesterday, up again today, except City. It that's is right. a laggard there, not doing much this morning. It's actually down. Because they're not doing anything with their dividend, that's why. That's why. All right, there we have big tech right from the get-go. Mixed picture there. Mm. Microsoft is down a fraction. Apple 134. Google is 24.55. Amazon down, Facebook down. Facebook's down a tiny fraction. Yeah. But I really want to show you NVIDIA. This is, Susan, not our <laughs> stock by any means, but a stock that we've been following yes. closely. It hit $800 yesterday. Yeah, you know, I've, I've been in NVIDIA for a long time, but it hit $800. You own it? Uh, yeah, for a long time. You know, it's it's had a boom-bust <laughs> cycle over the last six, seven years. So can so. I come to you for a loan on the strength of your <laughs> NVIDIA profits? You, right. know, you have to see the future. NVIDIA is in the right divisions, right? Graphics, chips, you cloud, self-driving. Okay. Enough. Thank you. Uh, NVIDIA this morning, you'll be unhappy to know that it's down 7 bucks at seven ninety one. Tesla down a fraction. What's this? UBS? A uh, big investment firm, they turned bearish on them? I wouldn't call bearish. I mean, they cut their price target by 10%, which is, I guess, significant in some ways. So 660 is where they think the stock should be instead of 730. And that's because of growing electric car competition. Now, on the opposite end, where is the competition coming from? They raised their targets on Ford really? and General Motors. So in their view, GM is worth 79 uh -huh. and Ford is worth 16 bucks. We've been following that, too. Yeah. Because General Motors used to lounge around in the mid 30s. Now it's, a pro it's got to 60. Yeah. And Ford, well, that was. I think that was a, that's a six year high for Ford. I mean, so we haven't seen these levels for a long time. $15 a share. It's been years. Yes. Uh, General Electric in the news now. Uh, that was your granddad's stock, my dad's <laughs> stock, everybody else's <laughs> parents' stock. Uh, now they're at $13 a share, yep. and somebody says they can go higher. Goldman Sachs, oh. cash flow generation here. So they say that the, the stock could jump by 24%, worth about 16 bucks or so. A top idea at Goldman because, again, of the recovery in the industrial sector, and that does mean more cash generation. Got it. United Airlines, uh, show me them, please. Uh, up today, but still around 52 bucks a share. Uh, there's, uh, they're betting big on the recovery and travel. Cause yes. They, they place, is it the largest order for planes from them ever? Correct. And also the single largest airplane order from any U.S. carrier in a decade. So we're talking about 270 Boeing and Airbus aircraft added to the fleet. 200 of those will come from Boeing itself. They're also hiring 25,000 by the year 2026 to help fill those planes. And they are, this is a bullish bet, let's be honest, on a recovery in travel. They say that transit Atlantic flights will be 100% plus by next year. On your screens is the Airbus stock. Yeah. That's the European plane maker. Yeah. Boeing is the American plane Correct. maker. United's buying Boeing. More. 200 Boeing of those. up. Uh, Airbus down one and a quarter percent. But that's the industrial play as well. We just talked about General Electric. General Electric, you can imagine, will be selling a lot of those plane engines yep. to those plane makers. Got it. Uh, how about Walmart? They're making a big, a bigger push into healthcare. They've unveiled a low-priced insulin. They'll start to sell it this week. A lot of people have str uh, struggled. Those with diabetes struggle to pay for the drug at current prices. Walmart's got a cheaper insulin on the market. Check out the Dow winners. The top of the line, Goldman Sachs. $376 a share. That's had a great yeah. run. Great. Well, let me ask you this. The fact that the Federal Reserve has given all these banks a clean bill of health so you can go ahead and boost yep. your dividends, doubling in some cases for Morgan Stanley and Wells Fargo, is that a great economic indicator for the health of the U.S. economy as well in this reopening? 
You I caught mean, me with that one. I don't know. <laughs> I also, I think also th this, this is a proxy play for the future of where the Treasury's inflation will go. Because if Treasury yields go up, they make more on each loan they dole out. Goldman is the Dow winner. Uh, number one, it's up seven bucks, nearly 2%. Goldman Sachs. The S&P 500, the top winner there is Morgan Stanley, another bank, obviously. <laughs> and a look at the NASDAQ. Not many banks on the NASDAQ, as far no, as I can remember. that's right. But they're headed by Skywork Solutions. Now the don't chip, know them. chip but component But Green Boots is up. Up there. Uh, Comcast is up there. Oh. ADP is up there. And a broad range of, of stock and yeah. industries doing well today. And you are looking at new meme stocks. Yes, that's right. So new ones being mentioned. Marin Software, who you will speak to yeah. later on today. That's going to be a very interesting interview at a, roughly around 11.30 a.m., so don't forget to tune in. But Marin is now worth $40 million. Did you see the stock yesterday? 97% yeah. almost doubling in one single session. Not a whole lot of news. You can trace it back to maybe last week's earnings and then also the uh, Instacart ads that they mentioned as well. But again, this is no news. More social media. Uh, oh, yes, so you think it's a meme crowd. stock? Yes, it is definitely a Wall I Street thought bets it had gone up. I noticed, I noticed that it had gone up, and I thought it had gone up because they've got a deal with Instacart yeah. managing their ads. That was last week, right? You don't jump 97% on yeah. Monday from news from last week. Also, throw in SoFi again. Not much fundamental news, but I, you're seeing a big rally in this stock. I'll throw in even the old, the AMC is the game stops. Even the Clover Healths, you know, when you're only up 1% in the free market, that's pretty tepid compared compared to some of the explosive gains we've seen recently. The memes are still there. Yeah. All right, now we've got more on Bitcoin. Earlier we told you about Kathy Wood starting a Bitcoin ETF, but there's more news on Bitcoin. Mexican billionaires? Yes, that's right. So a Mexican billionaire, Ricardo Salinas, he thought and said that he could possibly allow Bitcoin transactions through his bank or through banks. Then the Mexican finance, finance ministry came out to say, actually, that's not accepted as tender still in Mexico. But if you add Mexico to, sell, say, the El Salvador, that's really what's boosting sentiment, okay. more international government adoptions around the world. And it's reached 36.3 as we wow. speak this morning. All right. It's gone up whilst we've been on the air. So it's broken out of that range is that bullish do you think remember we talked about that 30 to 35,000 range of stuck in between so if we break out at 35 maybe it goes higher from here maybe so <laughs> <Let's see>. <laughs> <laughs>